Hello friends, James Savage here. I am sorry that I was not able to do my TED Talk this morning about what it means to go home justified <clears throat> in the story of the Pharisee and the tax collector. But I'm happy to tell you um, a little bit about what I found. Uh, that means the question is, uh, while going home, what does it mean uh, to go home justified? And just to make sure that we're all on the same page, I want to uh, start off with the definition of uh, being justified. In the English dictionary, what you'll find, it means the action of declaring or making right or righteous. Uh, the word being uh, used in this passage is daikeo u, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, which means to, to render one right or righteous. So no surprise there, but just to make sure that we're all on the same page, um, we're, we're asking what does it mean to go home being made right? And also in the context of the story, uh, how does that relate to the um, Pharisee, because the Pharisee, assumingly, is not being going home, is not going home being made right. Um, and I think the answer to this of what does that mean or how does that happen, why does the tax collector seem to be justified and the Pharisee not, I think it boils down simply to the word uh, humility. If we look in uh, verse 14, uh, the, the entirety of verse 14, uh, Jesus steps outside of the story and he says, I tell you, uh, this man rather than the other, I mean, you know, the tax collector rather than the Pharisee, I tell you that this man rather than the other went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So based on Jesus' words, uh, the conclusion is that the tax collector who was beating his chest and asking for mercy uh, was humble, and the Pharisee who was giving this uh, praise to God for what God has done in his life um, was not humble. Um, I think uh, looking through this passage uh, some more and even uh, bringing in uh, the idea that uh, the Pharisee was saying the right words. He was saying um, a prayer that would uh, be a common prayer of thanksgiving or at least one that was known. Well, then he was kind of paraphrasing and giving his own um, voice into, you know, begs the question of well, why isn't this considered a worthy prayer to be justified by when uh, the tax collector, um, all, you know, he only says a, a few words. Um, <clears throat> this made me think about uh, Hosea 6.6, 6, um, where God uh, says, I desire mercy over sacrifice. Um, uh, the uh, ritual of sacrifice and, and the motions that are required to go through that are not so much the point of what God is asking for, but what God is asking for is devotion and humility. And when looking at the words of the Pharisee, although uh, he may be saying uh, the right things, um, ultimately he is praising God for things that he is not, including thanking God for not being one of God's own creation who is in the temple um, with him. There is no humility in the words of the Pharisee, whereas the tax collector humbly is asking for help from an outside source, asking for mercy um, from God, which again brings me to the uh, uh, Hosea 6.6, 6, that God desires mercy over sacrifice. This idea of humility uh, runs through the book of Luke. Um, just, uh, just a couple examples. Uh, the Good Samaritan um, is obviously uh, humbled when beaten on the side of the road and uh, requires help from an outside source to recover. We here have in this story with the tax collector, the tax collector is um, asking for mercy from an outside help in order to improve his situation. And in the next chapter, we read about Zacchaeus, who is humbled enough to give away um, over half of everything that he has um, and uh, even alludes to the fact that he may be one of the uh, lost ones that needs to be saved, that Jesus is there to save. There is a theme of humility that God uh, works, that Jesus works, um, in the humility of people asking for um, help by God, who is an outside source. Um, and that's something that we don't find in the Pharisee, because the Pharisee only thanks God without asking um, for anything, without humbling himself. So, to come back to the main point, I think what it means to be to go home justified is to go home um, being humbled enough to ask God uh, for God's grace, because God's outside source of grace is something um, that one can never get enough, in, get enough of and something that uh, one will always need. So it all comes down to humility. Thanks, guys.